after uh, what ten month season of working six o'clock in the morning through to eleven o'clock at night every single weekend, it finally gets to winter, and I think, hey, we're going to chill out for a little bit now. And my wife says, I know. Why don't we try and do Bedford Christmas Fair? So it's stupid o'clock in the morning in the middle of winter. It's minus 400 blooming degrees and uh, we're off to stand on a market stall for the whole weekend. So uh, we're going to try and sell some more vouchers and what have you. But by God, it's blooming freezing this morning. So uh, hopefully um, we'll get some mulled wine a little bit later. Okay, so that is uh, what uh, Christmas market finished then. Uh, Sunday got back uh, about six o'clock, uh, quick bit of scran, and then straight to bed because up a ridiculous little clock this morning on Monday and uh, shot up to Derbyshire onto the Catton Hall estate. And uh, we've been doing some uh, radio programs with the BBC, um, so a morning's worth of recordings which are then going to go out um, through the week. Well, we did two, two live sections um, to begin with, and then the others are pre recorded, they'll go on through the week now. Um, and uh, so it is now just gone half past two in the afternoon and I've got to now shoot to Southam. Uh, I've got a meeting at four o'clock so I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, we've got uh, somebody's contracted us to, uh, to run a show for them in 2013. Uh, oh, sorry, should I say run a, a bushcraft element of an outdoor show with them. So six instructors out there uh, doing demonstrations and what have you through the weekend. So I've got to go and sort of the nitty gritty out with them. So um, I'm determined it's still cold. Um, I'm quite looking forward to uh, the day when I'm not cold now. And uh, so uh, anyway, I've got to shoot and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, so uh, we're going on to uh, uh, stage two of the project now with the world of bushcraft. So uh, we've secured the premises, uh, we've cleaned the premises out and what have you, and uh, we've had some signs made, and the sign guy is here, so uh, he's just going to be putting them up now. So uh, on, it's quite exciting, quite exciting stuff. Let's go see how they're getting on. I feel like a, uh, a taxi man. Uh, I just had to uh, drive Kev down to a school. Uh, obviously with his broken leg, um, we, he's not doing any physical work, but he's on light duties now. And, uh, and he's in a meeting with the school. We're doing a, um, uh, an after school bushcraft club with them. Um, so we're doing activities in the afternoon uh, as part of school and then a club in the evening. Uh, so that's twice a week for 12 weeks. And uh, so he's in there now with the teachers all sorting it out. Uh, and I've got to go find a coffee shop to, uh, for a mobile office so I can keep uh, keep the office going uh, whilst we're away. So uh, I think uh, it might be a, a Costa Coffee job, something like that. Okay, so it's uh, January, uh, start of the new year. We're out for our first course um, of uh, 2012 and it's a, a Bushcraft Fundamentals Day course so it's a, a fire, food, shelter and water course uh, and then a couple of days and then I got to Kenya so uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit warmer than this so uh, we're stopping with the, the Maasai for three weeks so uh, should be good on. Anyway, got a course to run. Uh, we got Jay who's going to uh, do his first pigeon preparation session so uh, uh, we've mentored him through and uh, he knows what to do he knows everything and so this is his first time uh, doing the session in front of a group so uh, fingers crossed for him I'm sure he'll get it nailed but uh, I need to now go and watch and, uh, uh, and make sure that he's uh, including everything that he needs to do Okay, uh, life doesn't get more bizarre than this. A couple of days ago, we were freezing our ass off. 
in the uh, in the woods in Oxfordshire, and uh, and now it's 30 degrees and uh, wonderful, and uh, you can hear all the birds around. So uh, we're on our Maasai expedition. So uh, we've arrived in Kenya two days ago, uh, just uh, starting to get acclimatised. And we're at our guide's house. Um, we're stopping with him and his family um, for five days before um, uh, the rest of the group arrive. And uh, so we've got a couple of days to go now. Um, we're just going off to uh, recce an area. So I've just hired them, hired somebody's car um, for a couple of days. And, uh, uh, and we're going to drive off to go down to uh, Lake Magadi, which is uh, a big um, sodium lake, um, which has apparently got flamingos in at certain parts of the year. Um, so I want to go down there, have a little bit of a recce, and also get you know a little bit of a feel for, for the area. So uh, um, we're just waiting for the guy to arrive, and then uh, we're going to go down to the village because we're stopping with the Maasai. Um, we'll stay in their village for about eight days, uh, well, so eight nights, should I say, and uh, so I'm going to go down there because I haven't personally been to the village myself yet. Um, Kev, um, uh, Kev did it on the uh, on the recce, but unfortunately, um, with him twisting his leg in the wrong direction, um, out in um, uh, in the Sahara, then uh, then it, the the responsibility falls to me. So uh, um, so we're going to go down there and meet everybody, and uh, and then we'll be back to the guide's house tonight. Couple more days, and the group arrive. Seven o'clock Saturday morning. Got the four by four, and shoo, away we go. Evan, another one. Harold. <laughs> oh. Bullet. Bullet. Yeah.